हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द थर्टी फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक कनेक्शन वेर वी आर इन दल्डेड कनेक्शन एंड वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड ऑल द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सेम इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्ट्रेसेस इन दिलेट वेल इन ऑर्डर टू हैव आइडिया अबाउट द डिजाइन क्राइटेरिया वी कैन रिफर द कोड आई एस एट हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड सेवन एंड क्लास टेन पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट सेवन पॉइंट वन पेज नंबर सेवेंटी नाइन फॉर गेट द डिजाइन स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ फिलेट वेल वॉट इज द डिजाइन स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ फिलेट वेल वी कैन गेट फ्रॉम हियर Now the formula given here is F W D that is design strength of fillet weld is equal to F W N upon gamma M W, where F W N is the nominal strength of fillet weld, F W D is design strength of fillet weld, and gamma M W is partial safety factor. Where again, uh, we are having the formula for finding out the value of F W N that is F U that is ultimate stress divided by under root three. and regarding the value of gamma mw again it is specified in table number 5 in is code that if uh, the welding is shop welding then gamma mw value would be 1.25 and uh, if the welding done is field welding welding is on the field then it would be 1.50 so we can directly put up the values in this formula that is value of this uh, fw and as fu upon under root 3 and uh, gamma mw as 1.25 or gamma mw as 1.5 for field welding then we can directly have an idea for this fwd in a resolved way that is for shop welding putting up the values we would be having this 189 newton per mm only if we are having the value of ultimate stress 410 fu that is fu upon under root 3 into gamma mw because it is shop welding so i have kept 1.25 For field welding, again, F U upon under root three into gamma M W formula will remain same. The thing that will differ is this, this one. It would be one point five. So answer will differ one five eight newton per m m square. So we'll have this value most commonly because the value of F U also will remain same as it is the ultimate stress of the weld. So it will not change. So. we should remember this thing for shop welding it should be 189 newton per mm square and for field welding the design strength of the weld would be 158 newton per mm then moving further now we'll calculate stresses due to individual forces we can calculate this individual forces and the stresses which are uh, induced due to that so now we'll calculate uh, those stresses which are induced due to the external forces applied on uh, the weld When subjected to either compressive or tensile or shear force, the stress in the weld is given by this. We already know that if it, any external force is acting, then its value should be mentioned in the formula that is capital P as the force transmitted in newton. So F A or Q that is normal shear stress due to axial force or shear stress. Both of this would be having the same formula. so fa or q will be equal to external force divided by lw that is effective length of the weld in mm into throat thickness of the fillet weld that is 0.7 into s or if the weld leg size are different then again we are having the formula for as a and b in the form of a and b right so now we can have an idea on uh, what is the design strength of the weld in case of external loading if we are having an external load then the design strength would be F W we can represent here F W as design strength F W D and uh, even if we can make P subject and these all things will go this side so P is equal to L W into throat thickness into design strength of weld again moving further uh, now we'll talk about the combination of stresses now when we are talking about the combination of stresses in fillet weld it means that we are talking about both normal and shear stresses. the fillet weld when subjected to combination of normal and shear stresses the equivalent stress fe shall satisfy the following see this uh we have introduced a new stress that is equivalent stress fe that is the combination of both she normal and shear stress so under root of normal stress or compression stress or tension stress due to axial or bending moment this plus 3 into q that is shear stress as mentioned over here f and f q this is the combination of both and uh, the condition here which should be satisfied is 
it should be less than fu that is ultimate stress of the weld 410 divided by under root 3 into gamma mw again gamma mw here is uh, given in table number 5 and differs from soft weld to field weld so this is all about the combination of stresses in fillet weld as normal and shear so this is all about today thank you for watching and wait for the next video